Dong are going to be fighting in the main event this upcoming weekend and I'm going to give my prediction and breakdown. This is the seventh time that I've tried to film this and record this because my HD webcam has been lagging and I need to learn how to fix that. Um, so whatever, I'm trying to screen record and everything's lagging, but I'm going to give my prediction for this fight night. And this is an amazing fight night. It's gone under the radar. There have been two big cards back to back. The UFC Paris card felt like a pay-per-view and that was followed by UFC 279. And now we have Corey Sanhagen, a world-class, in my opinion, champion level fighter going up against the young 24-year-old Song Yudong. I mean, did you guys hear me? 24 years old and you're fighting Corey Sanhagen who has had championship level experience, who's fought the champ, who's fought TJ Dillashaw and beat him. I mean, I don't care what you say he beat TJ Dillashaw. If you really think that TJ won that fight, you do not understand, understand the MMA scoring system. You just don't. While watching that fight live, I genuinely had TJ winning. I watched it back twice. Regardless of the consensus of the MMA community, I've watched it back twice, and there's absolutely no way TJ Dillashaw won that fight. There is no way that he won that fight. It's a damage-based scoring system. Sanhagen, go back and watch the fight, dropping TJ Dillashaw all over the place. I mean, this guy has power, and people don't really give him credit for that. He's a tenacious guy in the cage. And ultimately, that's why I'm going to pick him over Song Yudong. And Song Yudong, let me just say this again, 24 years old. I mean, are you guys hearing that right? By the time Corey Sanhagen and Piotr Jan are on the decline and are on their way out of MMA, you know, almost there to retire, Song Yudong is going to be hitting his prime. I mean, Song Yudong is going to be hitting his prime when Sean O'Malley's old. You know, Sean O'Malley is 28 years old. That's the young guy. Song Yudong is 24. He's already up against Corey Sanhagen, the big-time fighter in the Bantamweight division who arguably, you know, is top three in the world at Bantamweight. I mean, in my opinion, he is. He's right up there or right underneath Piotr Jan and Aljamain Sterling. And ultimately, I'm going to pick Corey Sanhagen to win this fight. And, um, you know, we're going to see their stats pulled up in a little bit. And here they are. Corey Sanhagen... Is in his prime. Okay. He beat TJ Dillashaw. And he's coming off of a loss to Peter Yan. And I know on paper it's rough. Because Corey Sanhagen. Two losses in a row. On paper. It's not the best look. If you get three that's not good. It's hard to turn around after that. It's hard to build momentum after that. But I do not see that happening. Corey Sanhagen is in a tough position. And that could be giving him a lot of pressure. And that's where Song Yudong could come into this fight. 24 years old. You're fighting Corey Sanhagen. You lose to him. You, you, there's nothing to hang your head low about. If you lose to him, I mean, listen, you're 24. You're the one of the best prospects in the UFC right now. You're getting experience. You know, if you go to a decision, even if you lose by decision, if you just give Corey some tough rounds, that's a lot to be happy about. I mean, he really has nothing to lose. And that's where a Song Yudong underdog pick can come into play. I mean, Song Yudong, if we look at the odds, I believe he's plus 165 and Corey's minus 195. And I think those are good odds. You know, personally, I'd bet on Corey because I just, the thing is, even though Corey's going to have a little bit of pressure given that he's coming off of two losses on paper, I mean, that fight with Piotr Jan was razor close. And I know that people are going to say, what do you mean it was razor close? Piotr Jan beat him, like straight up. Of course he did. Piotr Jan had a decisive win over Corey Sanhagen. I had him winning four rounds to one. But you look, Corey Sanhagen won the first round. The second and the fifth round were razor close. And the third and fourth were Piotr Jan's rounds. But those are three really, really close rounds. The first, the second, and the fifth. They were competitive. They were close. Corey Sanhagen gave Piotr Jan a tough fight, a really tough fight. I think he gave him a tougher fight than Aldo. Some people say Aldo gave Piotr Jan his toughest fight. Watch that fight back. Piotr Jan had Aldo hurt badly in the first round. He gave Piotr Jan a couple of tough rounds after that, but in the fourth of his complete domination, he got finished. Corey Sanhagen, aside from, of course, um, Aljamain Sterling in the rematch, gave Piotr Jan his toughest match and, um, you know, beat TJ, TJ Dillashaw. Two knockouts, crazy knockouts before. I mean, both of these guys have knocked out Marlon Moraes. Which one is more impressive? Take your pick. I mean, honestly, both of them were impressive. But I'd say Sanhagen was more impressive because at the time, Marlon Rice hadn't been KO'd by basically everyone in the top 15. Uh, but Song Yudong basically KO'd Marlon Rice at 
you know, basically retired him, you know, and uh, Song Yudong has got big power, but Corey Sandhagen too has power too. That's the thing. People don't really give Corey credit for that. He drops guys. He is vicious. He finds finishes and he has power in his hands. He has great boxing. And, you know, some people may say Song is fast. He's explosive. Corey Sandhagen is fast. And, and sure, he's not the hardest hitter. He's not the most explosive guy. He's long, he's lanky, but he's tenacious. He has a a certain kind of tenacity to his striking. And I think you guys will know what I mean. Ever since that Frankie Edgar fight, when he came out and he knocked Frankie Edgar out, and then he, and then he uh, came out and he knocked Marlon Marais out. He, he even went on Joe Rogan and talked about how ever since his loss to Aljamain Sterling, when he got submitted, he made a mental shift. He said to himself, I never want to get in the cage and feel too calm. I need to get in there and feel like this is war. I'm here to kill. I'm here to be aggressive. And we've seen that from him. I can see it from his demeanor when he gets in the cage. I can really see it. I, you can feel it radiating from Corey Sanhagen when he's fighting. He's tenacious. He's vicious. I mean, he's trying to hurt you. He's like a mini Robert Whittaker. And this is a really good analogy. Corey Sanhagen fights and strikes like a mini Robert Whittaker. Um, and he doesn't get enough credit for his power. He drops guys. Robert Whittaker is big power. But people don't give him credit for that because it's been a while since he's been finishing guys. But Corey Sanhagen, you know, I think he's going to drop Song Yudong. I think he's going to hurt him badly a few times in this fight, if not finish him. I'm going to pick Corey Sanhagen by decision. I think that Song Yudong's tough. I think he's a brute physically. He's 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 a strong guy. I mean, you just look at him. He's a physical presence. Twenty four. He's he's got a chin. He's fresh. Um, you know, explosive, strong guy. I just think that he's never went five rounds before. He doesn't have that five round experience. Corey Sanhagen's been five rounds with TJ. He's been five rounds with Piotr Jan. He's trained for five rounds before. You know, I mean. He's got more experience. That's that's what it is at the end of the day. And I think that his skills are more well-rounded. I think his his tools are more sharpened. I think that Song Yudong is still green. He's 24. He's made it this far. Congratulations to Song Yudong. But I think he's biting a bit more off than he can chew. And I think this is a good fight for Corey Sanhagen. And I also think it's a good fight for Song Yudong. You know, I in a way, it's kind of like O'Malley going up against uh, Piotr Jan. I mean, it is similar to that. It's a big step up. I just, you know, Corey Sanhagen's arguably the second best striker in that division. I think he is the second best striker in that division. I mean, his footwork is incredible. His boxing is great. He's got great power in his hands. People don't give him credit for that. I'm gonna, I've said it a million times. Watch this fight. He's going to hurt Song Yudong in moments. And you know what? Song Yudong is explosive. He's got he's got a little bit of a more rudimentary style of striking and boxing with the hands, which is not necessarily bad. It's just I just feel as if he doesn't have enough enough things in his arsenal when it comes to striking. He's got a brilliant right hand, got a, a, a nasty uppercut. I just think that Corey Sanhagen's just got so many different attacks from so many different angles. He's so good at countering. Um, he's fast. He's tenacious. And that's another thing. He's vicious and tenacious. That's a mental thing. He's strong in there. He's trying to hurt you in there. He's not trying to win on points. Um, and I think that's going to wear on Song Yudong as this fight goes into the later rounds. And Song Yudong is feeling the pressure of what it's like to be in the main event. He's, he's, he's gone a couple rounds already. He's starting to get tired. And now you got a couple more rounds. And Corey Sanhagen's been there with the best of the best. And um, I just think in the fourth and fifth round, those are going to be the, the rounds where Corey Sanhagen can put a stamp on it. And I think he's going to put a beating on Song Yudong. I think the first few rounds are going to be relatively competitive. Um, I could see Song Yudong dropping Corey Sanhagen in the second or third round. I think that Corey Sanhagen is going to win at least three rounds. I'm predicting he's going to win four rounds. Um, and I think he's, again, going to put a stamp on on this fight in the later rounds. I think he's going to put it on Song. Um, we'll see how Song's cardio is. But, you know, you look at the guy. He's built. He's got a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle to carry. It's a lot of lactic acid buildup. And, you know, when you have power like that, there is a, there is you're, you're going to give something up for power like that. And I think uh, it may just be the cardio. Corey Sanhagen is built to go five rounds. Um, 
And again, I just see him outstriking Song Yudong. He's got too many different ways of attacking. I think he's a better grappler. I think he's got a better submission game. Um, he's a busier guy. He's a higher pressure guy. And again, Song Yudong, big power. But there's a, there's a, when there's a give, there's also a take, you know? And I feel as if, uh, you know, he... 4.9 4. strikes landed per minute where Corey Sanhagen is 6.4. Um, now absorb Corey Sanhagen is taking more shots. He puts himself in the line of fire a little bit more than Song Yudong. And uh, Song Yudong is better defense on paper, but that's also a little bit skewed because you look at the guys that Corey Sanhagen's fought. It's a little bit harder to be, you know, dodging every shot when you're fighting the best boxer in the UFC. I mean, Piotr Jan has the quickest hands in the UFC and Corey's fought him for five rounds. It's a little bit skewed when you get to that point. I know Song Yudong's faced Cheeto Vera, who's very good, but and I and I think he lost that fight anyway. But still, Cheeto Vera is a more reserved striker. Um, he picks and he chooses his shots. Uh, n not a really high volume guy. I just think that uh, when it comes to the defense, I, I'd argue that Corey Sanhagen uh, transcends the stats. I think he is defensively better than Song Yudong. Again, he's just fought better guys who are who who have who have higher levels of striking. And uh big step up for Song Yudong. I just I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. I don't see him getting the KO. I don't see Corey Sanhagen getting flatlined. I don't. But I think this is great for Song Yudong. I think this is great experience even if he loses. I mean, uh, even if he gets a, even if he loses by decision, I think that's that's fine. 24 and it, there ain't nothing wrong with losing to Corey Sanhagen, who, in my opinion, can still go on to become champ. I mean, we'll see. I'd like to see an improved Corey Sanhagen. I think I'm expecting to see the best Corey Sanhagen that we've ever seen. I just, I think he's he's on that next level. He's the number three guy in the world, in my opinion, right now. And I just, I'm not ready to say that Song Yudong is right there. So that's that's ultimately what my prediction boils down to. What do you guys think? Who do you guys have winning this fight? Um, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Till next time.